Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can invert colors of a clip. You have to do it manually as far as I know, so there is no easy one-click solution, at least currently. But don't worry too much, the manual way is easy to do. I use the default layout, then I go to adjustments. You may have to open this drop-down and use a custom adjustment. Just click on a plus sign and you will have this new element in the timeline. You can make it shorter or longer, adjust the position, the usual stuff. Make sure it's highlighted in the timeline. If it isn't, left click on it. And then you can add under curves our color inversion. You may have to resize this window down here. And then manually invert these positions. We have to do that for all four curves. And you can also see the effect applied in real time. So if you don't want to have a full color inversion, but only a single color inverted, you can do that as well with this method. But in our case, we'll invert it all. You could potentially save that as a preset, but you have to be signed in to CapCut to be able to do that. Usually this is an effect that's used in music videos and you may want to adjust that to the beat. So create one of these shorter elements when you have your beat and then Control C, Control V and create multiple of these. You just have to reposition them like this and then again, Control C, Control V, go to the position where you need them. I'm just going to create a couple of random effects like this. And now I play it and now it flashes in and out. And this is usually the effect that you see in music videos. And that's all there is to it. This is how you can invert the colors in a video using CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.